Welcome to a short instructional video covering the basic navigation of the UQ Risk Assessment Database. In this video you will be guided through the registration process for first time users, searching for risk assessments on the database, navigating and interpreting the risk assessment, confirmation of your read status and navigating to documents associated with the risk assessment such as standing operating procedures and competency assessments. To start the database, navigate to the UQ Risk Assessment via the URL www.risk.admin.uq.edu.au. When you are there, you will be asked for your UQ sign-on credentials for access. If it is the first time you have logged on to the Risk Assessment database, the database will prompt you for your organisation information. Use the contextual pull-down menu buttons to the right to complete the items highlighted with a red arrow. You will be asked first for your organization's campus, then your faculty, and finally your school, after which you should save the settings using the radio button at the bottom of the window. This information will help filter search results when you log on to the database in future, making it easier to locate relevant information to you. After your organization credentials have been saved, you are ready to search for risk assessments. To make your life easier, it is prudent to search by the task ID, as keywords won't always find exactly what you're after. The task ID should be available from your supervisor or from course information. Before searching for anything on the database, make sure that you clear all search criteria first. This is important as the database defaults to the author in the search criteria in the first instance. You can clear all search criteria using the radio button in the left hand pane. The database is also a bit slow so please be patient during search operations. Once all search criteria have been cleared, select the search filter option from the left sidebar. In this instance we will be searching by task ID. In the search field in the main right hand pane type in the risk assessment ID number and select search. In this instance we are searching for the risk assessment associated with the use of laser cutters. The right hand pane dialog box will let you know if the search was successful and assuming it was the risk assessment associated with the task ID will appear in the left hand sidebar. Click on the risk assessment console tab at the top of the window. Double click on the task ID to open up the risk assessment. The risk assessment will be broken down into a sequence of risk types. Each risk type or category can be read in turn through a series of collapsing menus in the left hand sidebar. It is important to pay attention to the detail in the right hand pane as this is the critical information window explaining the nature of the risk, the level of hazard and any mitigating factors. Each hazard item will have an established context, identify hazard, analyze and evaluate and an additional controls window. It is important to click on each of these items in the left hand sidebar and read the information that opens in the right hand pane. Work your way through the breakdown of the risk to understand the potential hazard and then onto the risk matrix outlining the consequence of the hazard frequency of exposure and the probability of injury. The combination of these factors will give you an overall level of risk. Work through each of the risk categories associated with the specific risk, reading and taking note of the information in the right hand pane. Once you are satisfied that you have read all risk factors and understood the overall risk assessment and mitigation factors, select the radio button at the bottom of the left hand sidebar. This will open a contextual menu where you will be asked to make a virtual declaration that you have read and understood the task. Click yes and then save. It is important that users understand the significance of this declaration. Risk mitigation and management is contingent on the thorough deployment of management systems and the common understanding between the author and reader of the risk assessment that each is completing the task thoroughly and in good faith. Once you have saved that you have read the risk assessment your username will be saved against the risk assessment as having understood the task. 
This information may be used for general audits of OHS compliance and the reporting of incidents. Many risk assessments have associated documents that provide further information. These documents may provide more background information or, as in this case, it provides access to the competency assessments for the use of the specific piece of equipment. For the laser cutter in this instance, users are requested to download and print out the competency assessment after they have read the risk assessment so that they are ready for their competency test at a later time. The attached and associated documents can be accessed through cascading series of menus in the left hand sidebar under advanced. Competency assessments are a hands-on process aimed at outlining the safe operation of equipment. Students and staff will typically book a time with a trained operator, usually a representative of the managing organisation of that equipment, and work through a series of simple operations to achieve a base level of understanding of the safe operation of that equipment. Well that's it for the basic navigation of the risk assessment database. Further information is available through the UQ OHNS site. The OHNS site can provide advice regarding risks in general and help if you need to write your own risk assessments.